Hey, Connection Groups, hope you're having a great week. Hey, the first and really only need to know announcement for this week is thank you. Thank you to those staff and volunteers that helped pull off the big, awesome block party. What a wonderful way to bring our community together, our church family together in an engaging way as a fun church with a serious mission. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Hey, this week, we really have two questions that I want our groups to consider diving deeper into as far as the bonus resource goes. Those two questions, um, if if you're feeling really vulnerable and and really want to dive in and honor the book of James in an authentic discussion, ask this question. Can you identify any values said that are not matching values lived in your life? Now that's a question where if anybody were to really truly answer that in your group, they should be thanked for their vulnerability and their authenticity and prayed for and supported in grace because that's a pretty, pretty risky uh, thing to be able to say, hey, these values I claim, they're not really getting matched up in my life, but we should be honest in our groups as we talk about those things. So love for you to talk about that question. And then secondly, based on, look back at your past week based on your, your energy, your focus, your words, your passions and actions from this past week, what citizenship are you most actively representing? Is there any way you can be active in better representing the kingdom of God? Just look at your calendar, look at maybe your social media posts or, or your language with people and what you chose to talk about beyond what's intended for you to represent. What did you represent? What would other people see? Because guys, the way we invest our hours informs the ways our weeks end up playing out. And the way we end up uh, investing our weeks plays out to a whole pattern of our lives. So we want to strive to be real and present in this world with values that are centered around the enduring kingdom of God. I love you guys. I hope you have wonderful, vulnerable conversation. Have a great week.